Maybe. Huh? I've got my phone. I need to go back down. <laughs> you go back there. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lee. And this is B. We love to travel and we have very strong opinions. This place is so beautiful, I want to punch it in the face! So we took it upon ourselves to visit some of the highest rated places on the internet to make sure they were really worth visiting so that you don't have to. You're welcome. Not worth it. This episode, we're gonna drive up Oregon's three Cape scenic route, which includes Cape Kawanda, Cape Lookout, and Cape Mirez. And as the old saying goes, if you look between an ambulance and a banjo, you'll find Cape Kawanda. That's not a real saying. Cape Kawanda is an excellent beach if you don't mind dodging traffic. Among the three capes along the scenic route, Cape Kawanda is the smallest with only 185 acres. I gotta admit, there's a lot of beautiful things to see around here. We should really trademark this hat. All right, so the sun finally came out in Oregon, and everybody's running out to the beach. It's really nice. I just want to let you know, it's like 60 degrees out here. It's not beach weather. There's no reason for these people to be out here. This is how much people in Oregon miss the sun. One of the other features of Cape Kawanda is this huge sand dune that looks really fun to climb. So we thought we'd give it a try. We got all day. Everyone was right. This is a pretty great view. Is it beautiful up here? Absolutely. Is it worth climbing up a windy sand dune for half a mile? As we made our descent, we realized that we were really going to miss this place. So we decided to take a tiny bit of Cape Kawanda with us. The next stop on the Three Cape Scenic Route is Cape Lookout State Park, which is just 10 miles north. There are more than 8 miles of hiking and walking trails that wind throughout the forest, which consists of over 2,000 acres of land. If you're like me, and you like walking through the roots and the mud and everything, you should definitely come here. If not, turn around. During World War II, a B-17 bomber struck the Cape while on patrol. It took a full day of rescue crews to reach the sole survivor. A plaque in the memory of the air crew was located on the camp trail to commemorate their bravery. This view is nice, but this was definitely a situation where it was more about the journey than the destination. So as we said goodbye to Lookout State Park, we drove 15 miles north to Cape Mirez State Scenic Viewpoint. Cape Mirez is situated on a headland over 200 feet above the ocean. The park features tours of an 1890s lighthouse. The lighthouse was decommissioned in 1963 and stood vacant for a number of years and was heavily vandalized. In fact, hippies would frequently be found living in the keeper's dwellings. And as late as 2010, 
two guys opened fire on the empty lighthouse, causing over $50,000 in damages. But in 2018, it received a new coat of paint. So I guess all is forgiven. This site is one of the most populous colonies of nesting seabirds on the continent. Cape Mures has over three miles of hiking trails and a mile-long walking trail that winds through the old spruce trees, including the uniquely shaped octopus tree. We hope you enjoyed our trip through the Three Cape Scenic Route, and as always, Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and go to thejourneybean.com for more pictures of our trips.